Hello and welcome back to GG Golf, I'm Gaz and today we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm not on a course, I'm actually at my local course on the practice area with the pro Ryan Rastel because a lot of people in the comments and stuff are, what I'm noticing, are quite beginners to golf. You just started playing, you might have started playing last year and a lot of people are asking me for tips. Look, I don't want to be really standing here giving tips. One, I'm not a pro and two, I just don't feel comfortable giving tips. So Ryan's going to help us today giving you a very beginner guide to chipping. Because I feel like a lot of the comments have been, oh, do a video on chipping. On Instagram, do a video on chipping. So today, we are going to help you out. Because there's nothing worse than getting around the green in two or three, thinning it, fatten it, and just losing shots. It can be very frustrating. So today, after this video, hopefully, you walk away, go and practice, and you will be better at chipping. Let's do this. Hi there, guys, and welcome to Howley Hall Golf Club. So as Gaza said, we're going to have a bit of a look at chipping. Now... Of the people that I coach, the sort of number one fault people have is trying to help the ball in the air with their hands when they chip. Now, what we're really trying to do is let the club do some of the work for you. I've got a 54 degree wedge here. You can see the shot we're about to play is about 15 to 20 yards. So we don't have any obstacle in the way there, but there are certain ways we can go about playing this shot to really help us get a decent outcome. Now, like I said, people tend to try and flick the ball up in the air and um, that's certainly not what we want to do with chipping. We want to try and engage the club with the ground a little bit more. And what I mean by that is when you sit a wedge on your hand there, you can see the shaft leans forward slightly. Now, people's uh, sort of natural instinct is to try and get the club behind it, lift it off the ground. You see that lifts the leading edge off. So it gives you less chance of actually striking the ball properly to start with. So what we're going to do now is just set up properly to play a chip shot and give yourself the best chance of playing this shot that you can. So with a 54 that I've got here, I've got the ball in the center of my stance and I'm just going to let the club sit forward slightly. So get my hands forward to hopefully get that leading edge nice and tight to the ground. So when I play this shot, I'm not trying to use my wrists. I'm not trying to lift the ball in the air. I'm just trying to use my shoulders and, and trust the loft that I've picked to play the shot. So basically I've got my feet about a hand span apart. I've got my weight just favoring my left side, just leaning forward a little bit and the hands just nice and forward. So all I'm going to do is play a nice gentle shot with my shoulders and hopefully get this ball running forwards and onto the green. Now obviously we need different types of shot when we're playing golf so changing the distance is all about then either changing club or swing length right so if I want that ball to go further I just swing it that little bit further play it the same and we get it landing up there and stopping a bit quicker if I want it to go shorter obviously I'm just going to swing it less but still using that same technique to get the ball on the green now this is using a lofted club now let's try and use something with less loft okay so I've got a nine iron here and very often when we're coaching out on the golf course, I see people go straight for a 60 degree wedge, right? Now, a nine iron can be a better option, particularly when you're faced with a shot like this, where there's nothing in my way to stop me from using something with less loft. So let's try that. So again, the same setup, hand span apart. We've got the shaft leading forward. And all I'm going to do is let that ball run along the ground and chase towards the flag. So it's a much more simple technique that we're using. We're not trying to swing the club up in the air. We're not using our wrists a lot. It's just really simple. Let that ball run along the ground and hopefully get the ball closer to the flag. Now, Gaz, it's your turn to try these techniques and see if you can get some near the hole. Right, so my turn. Hopefully that helped a lot of people because I know it's one area of the game I struggle with. So let me try and do what Ryan's just said. And let's just see how hard <laughs> or easy it is also. When I hit a thin, I might take out my other camera, so I'm just going to... You'll be fine, don't worry. So, like we said, setup is so key, yeah? Yep. So, slightly um, narrower stance than a full shot would be. So, I, I always go like a hand span apart, yep. and I, I try and lean into my left side. So, the reason I do that is, again, to help that shaft just sit forward and try and get that leading edge in contact with the ground a bit more. So, this, is, this is in question. I get yep. asked this a lot. Where, where's the ball position on a chip? Because I see a lot of things on Instagram with 
Phil Nicholson and stuff, he's like, oh, if you want a low chip back foot, yeah. high, let's just forget all the advanced stuff. Yeah, absolutely. I am a 15 handicapper. I want to get the ball next to that hole. Where's the ball going to be? Middle feet. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, if we're getting a bit more advanced, yeah, we'd move the ball about. Yeah. But we can do, we can hit those same shots, but just change club. Yeah. So what Mickelson's doing with that moving the ball back, you could just use a nine iron and it's going to do the same yeah. thing. So so yeah, you you can, you know, he's obviously extremely skilled at this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we're standing not close to it, far away, just normal. I, I would stand a bit closer than normal. Yeah. So your feet are a bit close together. I'd always maybe get my hands down the grip a little bit. Again, okay. shortening the club is going to give you more control. More control yeah. yeah. So, and this is what this is all about. It's nothing fancy. We're not trying to flick the ball up in the air here. Okay, so it's just about hands, about a hand that way, that way, hands span apart, yeah? Exactly, yeah? where you are there, yeah. Yeah, so, so ball's middle of my feet. That's and it. then I'm going to lean the shaft. shaft just I actually, th forward. I thought you had it a lot more forward. You actually just had it a little bit, in it? Yeah, a little bit. I, like I say, I when you it. sit these clubs on the ground, they're designed for the shaft to sit that yeah. way, aren't they? Yeah, yeah so yeah. This, is, this is how we should be playing the shot. Okay, sure. So again, from there, it's just all about your shoulders isn't it we're using those bigger muscles of the body that are a bit more dependable to play the shot go on chip it in <laughs> if i do i'm going to walk over and turn the video off <laughs> all right here we go so middle of my feet grip down left slightly my camera <laughs> it's close. <laughs> I still feel it. Like I thinned that a little bit. Is that because I'm le still leaning back? Bit. Yeah, a little bit. The ball was potentially a bit back in the stance as well. But what this shot really, and, and what people need to get their head around as well, is we're playing a shot like this. We're not expecting it to go really high in the air. No, no, no. It actually should come out quite flat. And if you do that, it'll spin. So there, I would say, look, that ball's back. Yeah. It's one thing I always struggle with that, though, is ball position. And I bet I do that with my irons as well, to be fair. Right, so that ready? Uh, is that in the middle, is it? Yeah, yeah it looks better. And just lean into that left side a little bit. Good. That good. was better, that yeah, felt good. You can hear the difference, can't you? The yeah. grooves are on there, there's a bit more spin going on. Right, let's try that more running shot then, yeah? Okay. So, nine iron now, we're expecting this to come out even lower, but essentially we're playing it the same. Good, so you see it's much flatter, gets on the ground quicker, gets running towards the hole. These are the types of shots that if you're watching the golf this week, the Dunhill, yeah. you're going to be playing loads like this. And it's just going to yeah. run up nicely it to the hole. It just comes out that little bit runny and chasey, doesn't it? Yeah. Good. One more for good luck. <laughs> that was nicer. Yeah, very good. It's in! It's close. Oh! <laughs> right. Job. Cool. No worries, man. Thanks to Ryan. Look, we're happy to do these. Um, put in the comments any kind of videos you want and we'll try our best to do them. Like I said, I I'm not a pro, but luckily we've got Ryan here to help us. Um, and yeah, we'll see you soon.